Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Paul Heyman. I'm merely an advocate, but I'd like to introduce to you two new members of the Samoan dynasty of the Bloodline. None other than Three Minute Warning. Hola, amigos. It's Will here from Will's Custom Fingers coming at you today with a big, bad breakdown of two absolute Hall of Fame legends, Matt Anawai and Eddie Fatu, a.k.a. Rosie and Jamal. So please sit back and relax, guys, while I took you through how and why I made these guys and everything else in between. And first things first, oh my God, how cool do these two look? It has been an absolute treat to work with the widow, actually, of, um, of Rosie. And, uh, and his son as well, Koa. Since 2019, I had a nice little private message and conversation with Rosie's son, and he very kindly complimented me on some work that I did of his dad as none other than the superhero in training. Here he is. Uh, this is the original Jax figure. And uh, we had a conversation. I did a custom figure with him and Hurricane. And he was very, very nice, very complimentary. And since then, we've been discussing getting a figure into their collection. As you can see, this is Umaga. And that's who I used as the head sculpt, as the base for this absolutely brilliant Rosie and Jamal figure. Now, I couldn't be happy with how they've turned out. And um, I've got to be honest with you, getting to work with members of the Anuati family has been an absolute treat to me. What a family, what a legacy. And of course, Roman Reigns representing that with the bloodline as we go. Now, um, can you imagine how Rikishi's brother, who this is uh, Jamal here, could you imagine how him and how Rosie would have got on in today's WWE climate with the focus and the WrestleMania main event just going by and The Rock returning and everything else? If these two were around today, they would be smashing machines. And um, this takes me right back to, um, I believe it was... Um, when I first saw them, they were called Armageddon. And then they uh, were also called the Island Boys, and I think they were called the Gangsters. They've wrestled, man, so many different places. WXW, the HWA, FMW, MCW, of course, WWE, and even places like TNA. Now, just to give you guys a little bit more information, they were six foot four tall. Now, I had to use a Brett the Hitman heart to capture the realism and the size of these guys, the size of the forearms, and of course, you know, that that chunkiness and that absolute badassness that they were known for. I think Rosie was six foot seven, uh, in fact, and uh, they were 939 pounds. That's almost 67 stone. Now, they were active since 1996. 1996, and they made their main roster debut in WWE, and I believe. That was about 2003. And Eric Bischoff, I recently watched that video back when I was preparing for this video. Eric Bischoff brought both of these guys out and he said, you, I think it was Sean Stasiak and D'Lo Brown, you've got three minutes to finish your match. And if you don't finish it, then I've got a surprise for you. And talk about an, a massive and a destructive surprise. Eric Bischoff brought out none, none other than three minute warning. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of customizing that's went on here using Brett the Hitman Heart as a base. I've sculpted on sleeves onto the shoulders. I've used the original Jack's head sculpt and um, I've had to attach both of those onto there and I'm really happy with how it's turned out actually. I've had to sculpt on their jerseys and they'll go into some nice specifics about the jerseys in a minute. I'm very, very happy with how the jerseys have turned out. Also had to sculpt on the shorts and remove the boots because they're both wearing um, trainers. And the trainers were even picked, a nice little fact of the specific outfit, were picked by Koa, by the son of Rosie. So what an absolute honor to me and in being able to tribute and uh, make custom retro figures of this pair who never got their own retro figures in the line. Now, I really hope you like the comparisons I've done here of Brett the Hitman Heart. I'm going to do some close-ups now individually so you can see them both in a little bit more detail. And here we go. School photo time. Say cheese. Ah! He don't say cheese. Come on. That is a vicious man right there. Now, some of the great details that they've asked me to add in, both M and um, Koa, they've asked me certain 
headbands to put on as you can see here very very detailed headband that i've added on there this was a point of pride for me this is something that i really really took a lot of time and passion into and i wanted to say thank you as well to both m and to koa because during this time i've been made redundant from work i've been poorly many many months have went by since starting this project and they've also been very gracious with many many personal details like the specific tattoos to put on the arms and of course this jersey i don't believe there was ever a action figure made with this jersey on. I also wanted to put the Fatou Monica on the back of the jersey, which was a request from um, both M and from Koa. So very, very touching to be able to work on this figure. I absolutely love that Umaga head. My son has it in his collection. Those two figures I shown at the beginning were from his personal collection. And um, man, this Umaga figure still stands the test of time. I absolutely loved it back in the day when it came out and I was collecting. And of course, since then, my little boy, he's only eight years old, he started collecting himself. Now, memories, Survivor Series 2002, tables, and I think it was a tables match, Rico, and of course, Rosie, and, and the team with Jamar, and then Jeff Hardy, Bubba Ray Dudley, and Spike Dudley. And um, oh my God, what an amazing match. Of course, Umaga went on uh, to uh, create that character and go on to face uh, Bobby Lashley and be in the corner of Donald Trump at WrestleMania versus Bobby Lashley and um, Vince McMahon. Well, no, it was the other way around. Umaga was Vince McMahon's um, authority, bodyguard, wrestler, and Bobby Lashley teamed with Donald Trump. So great, great match there. If anyone hasn't seen it back at WrestleMania, go and look at that. Now, let me bring over his tag team partner, Rosie. Another school photo time. And man, that is a face. That is a mean looking face right there. And I love how they've captured Rosie here. Very, very specific, very, very detailed looking. And do you know what? That head sculpt technology that they used to use, I think it was the 3D um, scanning technology, that is unbeatable. I would absolutely love Mattel to bring a tag team of these two alive, either retro or elite or basic. They really need to in their current day collection. Now, the legacy of Roman Reigns, this is his brother. Can you imagine if he were around today, bringing him back into the fold with the rest of the bloodline? I'm so, so happy to see the thing the people like the Usos, Tamatonga, Solo Sikoa, all come in and absolutely destroying the WWE, Raw, SmackDown, and dominating the brand at the moment. It is amazing to see. And, of course, they were showcased at WrestleMania. Um, what an amazing set of matches that they're all involved in. Now, I've done the number 75 on there. That was specific to the family. Also, the gold chain. I love that. Um, funny story. I was cleaning my new house. I moved house in November, and I found an old air freshener from the old family that lived here, and it was a perfect size for a chain. I didn't actually make that so don't want to take credit the anawati on here and of course the number 14 on the shoulders ah. and on the front this was from the pictures from when they wrestled in this outfit i absolutely love it the full repaint that took place here took a lot of time i used uh, leather brown and citadel uh, the citadel kiesa flesh um tones to make this color really happy with it and just to let you know this hair is actually made and can move from side to side as you can see this was made from tags from old clothing and then i super glued it on the top there and put a nice little orange headband on just to uh finalize that look and how cool with the gloves with all the white stripes and all the little details on there man i couldn't have asked for a more amazing custom figure to work on and here we go guys back with you here we here is a nice close-up of the trainers these trainers were picked by koa can see some nice little tattoo detail on there as well and um, again on roses these boots look absolutely brilliant of course the shorts have got the same logo on for jamal as the t-shirt and um, i'm absolutely loving the dry brushing that i went through it's painstaking but i really think that these jeans look absolutely badass the reds the blacks the whites the silvers man these boots look absolutely brilliant and here we go, guys, nine minutes into this video. I'm starting to get to the point where I want to give my final reflections. A rating for me, personally, in my satisfaction of 10 out of 10. The fact that the widow of Rosie and the son 
of Rosie have turned around Co and M and said they'll use all the specifics and the details that they want on their figure. Man, I'm so proud. So, pr so proud to be able to immortalize them in action figure form. What an absolute treat for me and an honor. And uh, I'd give it a 10 out of 10 for me personally. Not bragging, but I've worked hard on these two. And uh, I think these are the two best Jamar and Rosie figures that you're going to be able to find anywhere. Now, thanks to the Anawati family, for set I'm going to be sending them over to the uh, the amazing Anawati family. And the thing is, for me, they're not actually for sale, these figures. I'm not putting them on eBay, not putting them anywhere else. This is made specifically for them. And as mentioned, it's been a treat getting to immortalise them and getting to pay my own personal tributes to two people that forged the way for massive tag team wrestlers and the Samoan dynasty. And I don't think without people like Jamal, without Rosie, without all the other great Samoans, when you're speaking about great Samoans, <clears throat> also you got this guy, a nice little Jimmy Snooker, just for a bit of a size comparison in the background. For me, there is no other thing that I would like to do to these two figures to make them even more personal, even more specific, even more badass. They've turned out exactly how I wanted to and then some. So guys, what's next? I'm doing Warlord, I'm doing Barbarian, I'm doing the Powers of Pain. You've seen my, hopefully my Bray Wyatt video by now. And if any of the other Samoan family members, if any of the other Bloodline family members want their very own action figures, man, do you know what? I might just make another Jamara and Rosie in completely different outfits, outfits just to immortalize them the Fatu and the Anawati legacy one more time. Let me know in the comment section below if you've liked this video. Thanks again to the Anawati family. I really appreciate it. And guys, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or here on YouTube. It has been a pleasure getting to film this video for you all. Thank you for staying with me for almost 12 minutes now. And uh, can't wait to hear from you in the comment section below. If you want a set of these figures in your own collection, give me a shout. I would absolutely love to work on them for you. And Guys, other than that, from me, from Jamar and Rosie, three-minute warning. I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs> Your three minutes is up. Adios.